Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So guys, for today's video, I think I'm going to be using the most beautiful makeup I've ever seen. So uh, the brand of makeup I'm going to be using today is, I think it is pronounced ZC? Z ZC? But this brand kindly reached out to me. This video is not sponsored, however, they did gift me three products. So I'm going to be using one of the eyeshadow palettes today, which is this palette here. And this is actually in collaboration with the British Museum, which is amazing. And it is the Fireworks Eye Color Palette. So that is the packaging of it there. This is obviously the inside. I've been the cardboard bit of it. <laughs> That's the inner part of the palette there as well. The makeup is honestly so stunning. I will obviously have these products linked and listed down below for you, but honestly, please do go and check them out. It is so artistic and the packaging, you know I'm a sucker for packaging and I'm sure most people are, but the packaging of this makeup is unbelievable. And of course they do, do do. <laughs> I just said doo-doo. Um, but of course they do have wee collections and stuff. So obviously, as I say, we have the British Museum one. And then another palette I'm going to show you is, is in collaboration with Alice in Wonderland. Is it Alice in Wonderland? Well, it's also in collaboration with the British Museum, but also kind of like Alice in Wonderland themed. And they do have everything from base products, lips, right through to palettes. So the nice product they were kind enough to gift me was one of their lipsticks. I will not be using this lipstick in this tutorial and I do apologise for that because it is absolutely stunning. This is going to be a bit of digression. <laughs> this is the box that it basically comes in. Really, really high luxury quality for such an affordable price. Like their products are really reasonably priced. Like they're not drugstore, but they still are really reasonably priced. This is the Gilt Gold Dragon Velvet Lipstick. So this also is from another collection. So we just take the wee outer sleeve off and then we have like this wee bit of tissue paper. We have this wee bit of velvet cloth here and that's the lipstick. Isn't that absolutely stunning? And whenever I tell you guys this lipstick weighs an absolute ton weight, it weighs a ton. It is the most beautiful lipstick. Like, can you just imagine this just like sitting up in your vanity? And if I just put you closer as well, you can see like the design that's all over the bullet and like the shape of it and everything. But I'm also going to be doing a giveaway in this video as well. This is the wee palette that I'm going to be giving to one of you guys. And as I say, it's from the same brand, of course. And it's kind of like within the same collection as this palette here. As I say, the British Museum. But it's kind of Alice in Wonderland themed. So I'll just give you a wee bit of a close-up of the packaging. This, of course, is the outer packaging. You will obviously get it like this. The reason I'm giving this away is because I don't need it. <laughs> and I may as well just give it to one of you guys. But look at that packaging. Isn't that absolutely stunning? I think it is so beautiful. We see me dropping it. <laughs> Eyeshadows smashed everywhere. <laughs> Whenever I first got this, I did think immediately to myself that I'm gonna give this to one of you guys. So I have kept it as original as possible. I'll obviously put this back, but I do think I've actually took the thing off. So I hope you don't mind. <laughs> but I literally have not touched anything on this palette I just kind of hold the wee brush but that's the palette there it's definitely not a palette I would actually ever go for or purchase myself because it is very very different and it is stunning like it is a very very stunning very different palette definitely a collector's item so yeah I'm gonna give this to one of you guys I think I've rambled enough but we're just gonna get into the tutorial where I created this makeup look here <laughs> We got there eventually. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> so basically, if you want to watch me have nearly another mental breakdown, just keep watching. So I just prepped my lids there with the P. Louise eyeshadow base and I'm now going to apply some of these wee shadow shields. Oh, look how chubby I look these days. What is going on? So as I said at the start of the video there that I have yet to film. <laughs> I'm not going to be using this wee palette here because I'm going to gift this to one of you guys. I'm going to be using it just this wee palette here which is actually in collaboration with the British Museum. And I love the packaging. It is pretty simple but it is still quite tasteful and pretty. So I'll just show you like, the inside of it as well. 
smoke and I've just woke up. It's not a very good combination to be filming at this time. <laughs> um, that's really, it's really gross like. <laughs> and then once we open it we have obviously like this wee thing that's over the mirror. So I'm just going to take that off and then we have this wee situation here. What are these called? Like protectors or something? But this is the colour story of the palette. <gasps> My finger just like nipped in here in the corner. Moving on. <laughs> so that's the colour story of the palette there. It's actually quite neutral, but there obviously is a couple of wee pops of colour in there, but they're still quite wearable colours, which I also really like. And of course we have a mixture of mattes and shimmers. There is a wee pressed glitter. I'm guessing this definitely is a pressed glitter. And I would say a couple of them shades are also like pressed pigments as well. First off, just going to actually just grab a big fluffy brush and just do a transitional shade first of all. Um, that mirror looks really good as well, actually. It's really, really big and pretty. <laughs> big and pretty. Oh yeah, it is really nice, actually, isn't it? It's coming off really pretty on camera. Especially these two shades here. I think I'm definitely wanting to try one of these two shimmer shades. Will I swatch some of them for you? So that's them there. So these two shades out in the bottom aren't really the most pigmented, as you can see, but they're the type of shadows that have a wee bit of a shift to them. Um, so they're more like toppers, let's just say. And first off, I'm going to take this shade here, just on a big fluffy brush, and I'm going to use this just in my crease. I have a song from TikTok stuck on my head, and it is driving me insane. And I do not know why it's stuck in my head, or how it's stuck in my head. Yeah, I'm really happy with that colour actually. Not that it's anything special, it's literally just a nice warm tone brown. It's gonna be very boring and I'm also just gonna bring that onto the lid. Just at the outer corner, just round here. Just round here. <laughs> just round here. Yeah. That's this now. I'm going to go into this dark brown shade. I'm just going to take the tiniest wee bit of this. I have a fair idea on what I want to do now. But I'm definitely wanting to do a wee bit of a cut crease situation. Um, yeah. So we're taking the Mitchell and P. Louise Acid Rain Blink Canvas Base. I'm just going to be using this to cut my crease. I'm going to be taking this wee brush here. It's just a wee unbranded brush. But the three brushes that I kind of like to go between whenever it comes to cut my crease is a wee small flat brush like this. And I always like a wee eyeliner brush, like a wee pointy brush. So whenever I go in with this brush, I like to clean it up if need be with one of these wee small brushes here. And then now and again, I will grab for like this style of brush. It can come in handy around the edges and stuff. But we'll see how we just got on with this brush first of all. God, I really don't know. I think I'm just gonna go for this shade here. Wow, that looks great. Like, this just... Ugh. This could either really mess this up or I could really save it. So this is from BH Cosmetics and it is their Eye Lights in the shade Girl Pals. I've never used this before, so I haven't a clue what it's like. But I think I could put this on first and then apply one of these wee topper shades on top of it. Ooh. What do you think? Will that be okay? I do apologize, I forgot I wasn't filming there. <laughs> Do you know, this tutorial is just going from bad to worse. 
I actually do not know what to do right now. So basically I had used this wee liquid eyeshadow and then I had went on with one of the shadows. It started to look really, really clumped up. Like I literally was able to just pick it off. Like it looked like cracked clay, like dried up clay. I don't know what to do. So I'm gonna take a Be Perfect Cosmetics pigment in the shade Voodoo. This has been happening to me quite a lot recently. Like in my tutorials, just things just don't work out all the time, you know? <laughs> and do you know what? Like sometimes I like to keep it in my videos because sometimes whenever I have days like this, I'm like, why me? Why me? <laughs> you know, you feel like you're the only person that's saying you can't do a cut crease or you do a black smoky eye and it goes tits up and you think, why me? And honestly, we all have days or weeks in my case. And it makes you feel somewhat sane, I suppose, to know that you're not the only one. <laughs> Back into the palette again I'm taking this first shade that we took and I'm also going to take a mixture of the darkest shade as well and I'm just going to pat that kind of like diagonal just to kind of clean up this pigment This just ain't my day, huh, is it? Just in case you're thinking my face looks a wee bit white, <laughs> I've actually just applied some sunscreen and I'm actually not going to prime today. Screw it. So I'm just going to go in with some foundation and this is a wee foundation I've been trying to use up recently and I love this wee foundation. I think it is great and it's actually from Shop Miss A and it's from AOA Studio and it is their Buildable Satin Foundation. Obviously I have Sphic Tan on at the minute so I get the shade Pure Beige. It goes on a bit orange I'll not lie um, but once it's actually like blend in it looks, looks great but of course it is tiny and I've used it quite a few times now but recently I have been using it the past couple of days just off camera whenever I'm not filming. And it's beautiful, it's such a gorgeous wee foundation. I mean, you know me, I'm an absolute kick face till I die, and I love it. But it's honestly the most beautiful coverage. It's still got the most beautiful satin like finish, it's just gorgeous. Sits beautifully on the skin all day as well. You know, think because it is cheap and affordable, it wouldn't really perform the best or look the best, but honestly, it's such a great wee foundation. I would say probably the only negative about this foundation would be it likes to move about a lot. Like for example, I'm obviously using um beauty sponge. Like now and again you'll see like a beauty, like I don't know, like just a a mark <laughs> that'll be like left behind from like a beauty sponge. Like I'm not too sure if he's able to say that or not. So I just like to go in and really spend a bit of time to actually like blend it. And also for my concealer, I do apologise that I'm using this, although I think you still can get this, I don't think Bega is closed down yet, but it is the Ultimate Coverage Concealing Cream in Banana. I'm just going to use the same sponge and just press that into the inner corner. I'm taking the Technique Bronzing Base, just as my cream bronzer. So I'm now just going to uh, set my under eyes and stick my T-zone and stuff with this wee palette here from Tarte. So guys, do leave me a comment down below and let me know what type of content you would like to see. I've been kind of having a wee bit of a... I don't even know what you call it, but this seems to happen every now and again. <laughs> where I kind of start to like question my YouTube channel, I kind of start to question my content and... You know, like, this is this is normal, like this... 
it happens. <laughs> you kind of start to feel a wee bit lost. Makeup is my thing. I will never not do makeup. But I feel like some people are kind of starting to like sway away from makeup content. And I think more people are kind of going towards more a lifestyle type of content and videos. That's not necessarily something I would ever want to get into. But I kind of feel like sometimes... I maybe have no choice but to go down that route as well as the makeup because I just kind of see no growth in my channel at the minute and I kind of feel as if I'm like just on a seesaw you know like not really getting anywhere to be honest and like do you know what I'm happy and I'm content with absolutely everything but I think I'm just getting a wee bit unsettled with my content. I'm gonna do a tiny bit of bacon right with the kimchi powder. I think I'm going to start doing favourite videos, like monthly favourites and stuff and just overall favourites, whether it be um, makeup, skincare, hair care, body care or gadgets or just like my overall favourites, just like within every genre. Are you okay? Are you happy enough with my content? With it being makeup tutorials or just more so makeup content or what else? What do you just want to say? Okay, so while my setting spray was drying there, I just went on ahead and done my lower lash line. I took this shade quite tight to the lower lash line and then I just blended out with this shade here. I'm going to be taking the MAC Whisper of Guilt highlight. Just go on here. Do you know what? I'm actually just kind of looking at my eyes and looking at the, the palette. My eyes kind of do go off the palette. I'm not going to lie. Whether you like the eyeshadow or not, and that's me telling myself that because I, I don't know how to feel but my eyeshadow kind of does look a wee bit Egyptian or is that just me just just trying to make excuses <laughs> or just trying to justify <laughs> why it looks like shit <laughs> for my blush I'm going to be taking this wee palette from Kimchi and I'm going to be taking this wee colour here from A New Me's World God, we're using a lot of face palettes today. I'm also going to be taking this Be Perfect Cosmetics Shapeshifter palette. This one here for my bronzer. And I'm just going to take this first shade here. Okay, okay. I can hear the washing machine beeping. <laughs> And then I'm just going to take this wee broken handle bronzer brush. Just to go around the sides of my nose. I might be a wee bit crazy on doing this. But I'm going to take like a really, really big brush. If I can find one. This one? Has this got a highlighter in it though? Do you know what actually? I'm going to do my lips first. I'm sorry. I'm like all over the show here. <laughs> Where's my lip liner? I'm going to be taking, as I say, this wee brush here. I've kind of done a wee bit on this side and on this side. Not sure if you could tell what I've done or not, but did I say I was taking this? Yeah, I'm taking this. <laughs> and I'm just going to take that bronzing shade that I took for the face. I'm going to take a tiny wee bit of that. Tap it off and kind of zoom it in a wee bit. So. I'm literally... Just going to... I don't even know what this is called and I don't know what I'm doing. So yeah. So just bring in that bronzer just from the shadow. Just like up around my temple area. Okay guys, do you know what? I'm just going to call it a day. It's Friday, my weekend has started, and I am done. <laughs> I am so done. <laughs> I'm hopefully going to get this video up tonight, so I'm actually going to go and have some lunch tonight and then get straight into editing and uploading this for you, because I think this is like the only video this week that I've actually, well, makeup tutorial this week that I've actually uploaded. Oh, that's right, I'm doing a giveaway. Bollocks. Um, yeah, this palette here. <laughs> yeah. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Just leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your Instagram is. I will only be running this 
uh, giveaway through Instagram, so my apologies if you haven't got Instagram. But yeah, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. I just leave me a comment with your Instagram so I can get the hold of you to get your address, etc. And that's all. <laughs> all the products that I did use will be listed and linked down below in the description box along with my Instagram. So don't forget to go and follow me on there. Thank you again so, so much for watching. I hope you're all staying safe and well. Please be kind and look after yourselves and each other. And I shall see you in my next video.